what we all saw here in Miami last night. College football's purported clash of its titans with more subplots than a Hollywood movie. But in the end, none of it came to pass. After weeks of anticipation and with 80,000 fans packing Miami Sun Life Stadium and an estimated 30 million watching on TV, undefeated number one ranked Notre Dame was simply no match for the raw power of number two Alabama. As the Crimson Tide faithful looked on with glee, dumbstruck Irish fans could barely watch. Notre Dame right now just can't do anything right. The route began just moments after Notre Dame's opening kickoff. Alabama twice rolled down the field, scoring touchdowns on its first two drives. Touchdown, the other Williams. By the half, the score was 28-0. If this was a prize fight, they'd call it off. The game had become a rout, made all the more surprising because of the hype surrounding this matchup. Notre Dame, the resurgent and storied crown jewel of the North versus the preeminent powerhouse of the South. Right now, it is high tide in Miami. But it was a sweet home Alabama night, one that brought a second consecutive national title and third in four years, establishing coach Nick Saban's Crimson Tide as college football's preeminent dynasty. And I'm proud of what, what they were able to accomplish this year. That's pretty special. Um, gives me chills thinking about it. It was a remarkable night, of course, one that Crimson Tide fans will long remember, one that Fighting Irish fans would love to forget. And to that end, as Alabama has now established itself as a dynasty, a shocking thing in this age of parody in the college game. We'll be joined this morning by a couple of the newly crowned champions, a very special play of the day as the sun rises here on Miami <laughs> Beach, guys. Cannot Miami wait for Beach. that. Okay, Josh, thanks very much.